Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial, and today we're going to be making Hangman, an awesome game, and let's make it in C Sharp. So go ahead and launch your Visual Studio and create a C Sharp console app, name it whatever you'd like, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, now that we're in here, let's import some stuff right off the bat. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to say using system.collections.generic, and that's going to allow us to use things like a list, and I'll explain what that is later. We're going to say using static system dot random. And then finally, we're going to say using system dot text. All right, guys, we have all that stuff imported. Now let's get rid of this hello world method. Obviously, our app is blank. So let's start by writing some simple functions that's going to help us make the game work. So above your main method here, we want to create a function called private static void print hangman. And it's going to take an integer of how many times the user has guessed wrong. And in here, we're just going to have some simple if else statements. So we're going to just say if wrong is zero, then we want to print just a blank stand, right? And then like that first statement, if the user is wrong one time, we want to just print a head. And then, you know, if they're wrong twice, we want to print the stick body. And, and we're going to go on all the way until I believe it's six or seven is the maximum amount of wrong guesses that you can get before the game's over. So we're going to add an else if statement. We're going to say, hey, if wrong is one, we want to do this thing. And then we're just going to copy this all the way up until wrong is six. So go ahead and paste this a bunch of times. And I might have pasted one too many, but that's OK. Now we're just going to go down the line here and change each number until it matches exactly what we need. So like I said, I did print one too many times. So go ahead and remove that last one. And now in the very first function here, we're going to want to say, hey, console dot right line. And each one needs to be on a new line. That's why we're using right line versus right. We want a new line character and then a plus, three minuses, and a plus. Then let's create this again, except for this time, we're going to need one, two, three, four spaces, and then a pipeline character. And then go ahead and take this line and copy it two more times. And then finally, copy it one more time. But at the bottom here, instead of the pipeline, we're going to have three equal signs after three spaces. So one, two, and then we're going to need one more. And then make sure to remove the space at the end here. OK, so now we have our simple blank stand, and that's just going to um, obviously hold a stick figure. And then we just kind of need to copy this and go all the way down the line. And then we're going to make slight modifications to each one in order for this to work. Now, I'm not going to go through each one. I'm just going to blast through here quick and then show you the finished product. All right, guys. So if you'll notice, now I've made all the else ifs how they need to be. One thing to note, you will have to add two slashes here, one to actually make up the arm and one to actually escape that because the backslash is actually a uh, special character in C Sharp. So here's a brief overview of what each one looks like, you know, the head and the arms and the body and so on. We just add each one every time. All right, guys, now we need to create another function and we're going to call this one print word. So this is going to print the word above the lines, you know, the dash lines, um, each letter of the word. So we're going to say private static int. We want to return an integer. We're going to call it print word. And it's going to take two parameters. We're going to say first list and each thing in this list is a character. We're going to call this guest letters. And this is going to be a list of all the letters the user has guessed up to this point. Then we're going to have string random word. This is going to be the random word that we generate upon the creation of the game. So inside of our method here, we're going to say int counter is zero. We're going to need a counter to um, iterate through the random word and then we're going to need an int and a um, write letters and this is the number of letters in the word that the user has guessed correctly then we're going to need to print out a simple turn character in a new line and this is just going to ensure that you know as we're looping through the game there's these new lines and everything's spaced out nicely now we're going to need a for each loop so we're going to say for each and then we're going to say char c in random word and this is going to allow us to iterate through each character inside the string of the random of word that we generated at the beginning of the game in here now we're going to say hey if the character that we're currently on in this string if this is inside of guest letters we want to print it out guest letters if you remember is the things that the user has guessed let's say we have the word flower and the user has just guessed f guest letters would have f in it and as we're looping through flower we would say hey we've just landed on the character f is this inside of guest letters we check yes it is and now we want to print the letter out on the line right the way we need to do that is we're going to say hey if guest letters dot contains and the contains is a method it's going to return a boolean and to basically tell you hey in this entire list is this in here and the thing we want to check for is c which is our char and then hey if 
it happens to be in there, we want to say console.write, and we want to write C and then add just a space here. So we want to write out the character that they guessed plus a space. And then also on top of this, we want to increment our write letters by one. So we're just going to say plus. And now we have the scenario where the current letter that we're on is not right. And we just need to basically print nothing. And instead of printing C, we're literally going to print out a space. So just leave that line blank, obviously, if that doesn't match. Now, outside of this if else, but still within the for each loop, you want to increment your counter by one. So just say counter plus plus. And then outside of everything, we want to just return the number of right letters that the user has guessed. All right, guys, now that we've printed out our word correctly, we need another method that is going to be used to print out the lines below the word. Obviously, in Hangman, you have all those dashed lines. We just need a simple method that's going to do it for us automatically. So we're going to say private static void print lines, and it's going to take in a string of random word. And this is going to be the random word that the user is guessing. Each time that this method begins, we want to just print out a simple return character to make a new line. And then we need another for each loop. So we're going to say for each char C and random word just like before. All right, guys, and then inside of this for loop, you're gonna need two simple things. The first line, we're gonna just say console.output encoding is equal to system.text.encoding.unicode. Basically what we're doing here is say, hey, now that we've printed the word, so let's say our word is hello, we've printed that word on that line. The next thing that we have to do is print the dashed lines underneath it. And we could print underscores, but that would show up down here. So instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to print overlines or upper scores or whatever you want to call them that even though it's right here on the next line, we're going to print it so that it looks like it's right underneath the characters above. So in order to do that, we're going to say console dot right. And then we're going to have the double quotes and then we're going to print out a unicode character and the one we need is the backslash u0305 and then make sure to add your semicolon at the end so that's going to make sure to print out that special overline character right below the letters that we just printed all right guys now that we've set up those two methods we are ready to actually start creating the logic that will operate the game so inside of our main method let's just start by saying a simple welcome statement for the user we're going to say hello you know console dot right line and the way we're going to say hello is like welcome to hangman with a smiley face because of course we're super happy to play the game then the next thing we're going to do is just add a simple dash line right below it go ahead and just add as many dashes as you like i'm just going to like stop kind of in here that way we have a breakpoint between the welcome statement and the actual game now the first thing we need to do in this game is create a random word so the way to do that is we need to create a random object random random is new random and the intelligence once again guesses what I'm thinking at this moment. We're gonna create a list of type string and we're gonna call this our word dictionary. And then we're gonna say that's equal to a new list of type string. And then inside of these parentheses, you're gonna remove those and then add brackets instead. And then we're gonna fill up our list with random words that I choose just to have a random dictionary to choose from when the game starts. All right guys, so I filled up this um, array here with a bunch of random words. We went with sunflower, house, diamond, memes, yeet hello howdy like and subscribe because that's what you should be doing when you're watching this video next thing we need to do is take our random object create a random number and choose something out of this dictionary so we're going to say int index is equal to random dot next and this dot next property is going to allow us to generate that random integer and then we're just going to say word dictionary dot count so that's going to say hey generate a random number between zero and whatever the amount of characters in this dictionary are or sorry the amount of words in this dictionary now we're going to actually create our random words so we're going to say string random word is equal to the word dictionary at the index and once again visual studio is literally inside of my head and it's just it's just coding for me the next thing we need is, hey, we've created a random word and we've said hello to the user. Now we need to print out the dashed lines that make up the word so that the user knows how many characters there are and that they can begin their guess right when the game starts. So to do that, we're going to say for each char x in a random word. We're going to switch it up, use an x instead of c, you know, we're out here, we're switching it up. And then you're simply just going to say console.write and then a underscore in a space. Next thing we need to do is just create a series of variables to um, operate the game. And the first one we want to create is the length of the word to guess. We're going to say, hey, int, let's get the length 
a word to guess and the word to guess is our random word so we're just going to say random word dot length next we're going to say hey let's keep track of the amount of times that the user is incorrect so we're going to say hey int amount of times wrong is zero then we're going to create a list full of the guest letters up to this point so we're going to say list char because this is going to be full of characters we're going to say letters guest to do that, we're going to create a list of type char because it's going to be full of characters. It's going to be called current letters guest. And that's going to be equal to a new list of type char. And just go ahead and end it with parentheses and a semicolon. And then finally, we need to keep track of the amount of letters that the user has actually guessed correct. So we're going to say, hey, int current letters right is zero. Finally, we have all our variables and all of our initial stuff set up. Now let's create a while loop to continuously loop while the game is going. So we're going to say while the amount of times wrong is not equal to six because six is the maximum amount of times you can be wrong before the game is over. And we need to make sure that the current letters right is also not equal to the length of the word. So we're going to say length of word to guess. And that's basically saying, hey, you know, the game could keep going as long as we haven't guessed the entire word or the amount of times wrong is not six. Now that we're in our loop, let's print a report of the letters we've already guessed to the user. That way they don't have to remember by themselves. So we're going to say console.write and we need a new line character. And we're going to say letters guessed so far with a colon and a space and then end that with a semicolon. And then to actually print out this, we're gonna obviously need a for loop because we need to iterate through our array of letters, or sorry, our list of letters. So we're gonna say for each char letter in letters, or current letters guessed. So for every character in there, we want to print it out to the user. And we're just gonna say console.write, and we're gonna to print out the actual letter itself. So letter, and then plus, and then add a space after each letter, that way it's nice and spaced out. Now we want to prompt the user for an input or, you know, a guess of what the letter is in these words. Prompt user input, or sorry, user for input. Now we're going to say, hey, you need to guess the letter. So we're going to say, guess a letter. Make sure to capitalize this. Let's add a colon and a space. And also let's throw in a new line character in there as well. And then we're going to collect the letter guest from the user. We're going to say char letter guest is equal to, and then we're going to say console dot read line. And it's going to, instead of reading the entire line, what if they guess multiple characters? Well, it won't matter because we're only taking the very first one. Now that they've guessed the letter, let's make sure that they've already haven't guessed that letter before. Because if they have, we want to obviously not do anything and just let them try again and let them know. So we need to check if letter has already been guessed. That's going to go something like this. If the current letters guessed, which is our list of letters, dot contains, if it already contains the letter guessed, then we want to basically do just a few things. We want to say console dot write and let them know with a, a return character in a new line, you have already guessed this letter and end that. We obviously still want to print out our hangman, so we want to print hangman and then we need to pass in the amount of times that the user is wrong. Luckily, we have a variable for that called amount of times wrong. So pass that into that. Then we need to set the current letters right. Once again, even if they've, let's say, they've guessed two letters correctly already, we still need to be continuously recording that. So we're going to say current letters right is equal to print word. And print word, remember, it returns the amount of right letters there are. And then we need to pass in two different things, our letters that we've already guessed and our random word. And then finally, we need to print out the dash lines below our word. So we need to print lines and then just pass in our random word. OK, now that we have a statement that handles that error, we just need to say else. And then in here, this is in case that they haven't guessed the letter already. Now we need to check, is it in the word or is it not in the word? So the first thing we need to do is obviously check that. So we're going to say check if letter is in the word. We need a Boolean to say right is false because obviously they're going to be wrong by default. But in case that this word does contain the letter they guessed, we need to set it to true. So we're going to hit, say uh, this for loop here. Instead of I as being less than the uh, length of word to guess, we're going to say random word dot length and then I plus plus open up this for loop bracket here. And then we're going to say in here if the letter guessed is equal to random word at I. So if this letter is anywhere in here, we want to make sure to set right to true. And that's all we need for that portion. 
now that we know whether the user is right or wrong, let's handle it. So we're gonna say if and then right. So if right is true, we want to print the hangman, of course. So print the hangman right away. The amount of times wrong. Obviously, the amount of times wrong will not go up. Um, it'll stay the same because they were right. Then we need to print out our word. And before we do that, we need to add the letter they just guessed to the current letters guessed array. So just add that in there. We also need to set the amount of right letters. So we're gonna say current letters right as equal to print word pass in our current letters guest and pass in our random word as well. We need to print out a simple new line because uh, we just printed out a bunch of crap. We want to make sure it's spaced out nice and even. So we're going to say console.write and then in here a return character and a new line character. And then finally we need to print the lines underneath the word. So we're going to say print lines, pass in our random word. And that's all you need for the case that the user was correct. Now let's add our else. So this is in case the user is wrong. First, we want to increment our amount of times wrong by one. So just say plus plus for that. Next, we want to add the letter that they just guessed the array again. So we can copy this line up here and paste that. We want to do the same thing as before. So we want to print out the hangman with the amount of times they're wrong. But this needs to be right after the, we incremented this because we need to add a limb onto the person. We need to do this once again. So current letters right is um, equal to print word and whatever that returns. We need to take a new line right under that. And then we also need to print our lines once again under here. Okay, right, guys, that's all that we need for that. And now we just need to simply handle the case that the game is actually over. So let's go ahead and drop that right below this while loop here. And we're just going to say console dot line. Make sure to add a return character and a new line character and just say game is over. Thank you for playing with a smiley face. All right, we have tackled that. And now let's go ahead and run it and make sure that it works properly. Go up to our print lines method and make sure to add a space right after this U0305. And then let's run it again. All right, guys, now that we've fixed that glitch, we are welcome back to the game here. We have a five letter word to guess. So let's go ahead and guess it. I'm going to start off with an E because there's probably an E in there. And it looks like I am wrong. There is not an E in there. So let's try with A. Oh, we are wrong once again. Let's try a U. OK, there, there's literally like no vowels in here. I'm just going to keep going. Is there an I? There is no I. This is really bad. We are continuously wrong. Finally, is there an O in here? OK, there is an O. So that's good. We still can claw back. I don't know. Is there like a, a Y is another common one. You'll notice that there's Y in the last index. So that works awesomely. Is there a W? OK, and now I'm starting to think I know what the word is. It's going to be howdy. So we um, go ahead and finish out the word. And you'll notice once it ends, it's saying, hey, thank you for playing. And the game is over. So we won and it works perfectly. So that's going to wrap up today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed Please report any bugs or any um, questions you have down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one.